See Kyle. Hello. I am Om Ra of Vathlo. That is to say, my name is Om, of the House of Ra, from Vathlo Island on planet Krypton. Vathlo Island is an island continent on planet Krypton which is populated by a highly developed black race of Kryptonians who retained their independence and did not join the Planetary Federation. Unlike Kal-El Superman's father Jor-El, the black Kryptonians of Vathlo Island did not wait until the last minute, just weeks before the planet Krypton imploded, to evacuate the planet. The black Kryptonians of Vathlo Island were intelligent enough to sense the impending danger, and evacuate the planet Krypton years before the planet's destruction. The black Kryptonians of Vathlo Island came to Earth and other planets throughout the universe, and they survived the destruction of planet Krypton, because they left the planet long before the calamity. The word Krypton means the hidden one, and comes from the word crypt, meaning to hide and conceal. So now that Krypton has been destroyed, let me reveal the real secret origin of Superman. In the German language, the word Übermensch means Superman, and was used to describe Adolf Hitler's Nazi White Nordic Aryan race. Adolf Hitler believed that the White Nordic Aryan race was the supreme race, or Übermensch, Superman, on planet Earth. Adolf Hitler was motivated to believe that the White Nordic Aryan race was the superior race on planet Earth because of his association with the Thule Society. The Thule Society claimed they were contacted by White Nordic extraterrestrials from the Aldebaran star in the constellation of Taurus the Bull. The Nazi SS stands for Schutzes Tafel, which in the German language means Protection Squadron. The Nazi SS Protection Squadron was to be composed of only the Übermensch, Superman, the men of the White Nordic Aryan race. If one S is rotated 90 degrees and overlaid on the other S in the Nazi SS symbol, it creates the image of the Nazi swastika. When the character of Superman was first created by the Jewish children Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster, in the 1933 comic book entitled The Reign of the Superman, Superman was a villain determined to take over the world, and was based on the Übermensch Superman, of the Nazi SS. The comic book character of Superman was later redesigned as a hero, to combat evil forces like the Nazi SS Übermensch Superman. So we see that the S symbol, the extraterrestrial theme, and the superiority complex found in the Kryptonian Superman stories, comes from Nazi Germany. However, in the 1936 Olympic Games in Nazi Germany, Hitler received a rude awakening when his Nazi SS, White Aryan Nordic Übermensch Superman, were defeated by a real Superman, who was a black man named Jesse Owens, who was a real-life example of the phrase, faster than a speeding bullet, and able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. See, if Kryptonians like Kal-El Superman, get their power by absorbing yellow sunlight, then wouldn't black Kryptonians, with high amounts of melanin in their skin, be able to absorb more yellow sunlight, and thus be more powerful than Kal-El Superman. The word Krypton means the hidden one, and Kryptonians who come to Earth get their superhuman powers by absorbing light from the yellow sun. In ancient Egypt, Amun means the hidden one, and Amun was merged with the sun god Ra, becoming Amun-Ra, a Netur, god, beyond human, or Superman. The Amun-Ra Superman was also depicted as a black man in ancient Egypt. The scholar Gerald Massey noted that in ancient Egypt, the four races of people depicted in the tomb of the pharaoh Seti I were, the red people called the Rut, who were the Egyptians, the brown or yellow people called the Hemu, the white people called the Tamahu, and the Nubians or black people, who were called the Nasi, or Nahisi, meaning born black from the egg, where the egg was also symbolic of the sun. As you can hear, this ancient Egyptian word Nahisi, or Nasi, which was used for the black Nubians, the real supermen, is phonetically similar to the word Nazi, which was stolen and corrupted by Adolf Hitler. Also, the Nazi symbol of the swastika, is called the Black Sun, and was stolen from a symbol which is sacred to black African people, called the Four Movements of the Sun. In the Man of Steel movie, it is said that the S symbol that Kal-El Superman wears on his chest is not a letter S, but rather it stands for hope. Well, hope is the substance of things believed in, and evidence of things not seen. Hope is synonymous with faith, belief, trust, and not knowing. You do not have to hope, have faith, believe, or trust something is going to happen or is real, when you have knowledge, certainty, clarity, assurance, confidence, evidence, experience, and reason. This symbol on my chest is not a letter N, it is symbolic of knowledge, certainty, clarity, 
assurance, confidence, evidence, experience, and reason. You do not have to hope for a black superman, you have already experienced clear evidence of black superman in real life, to have certainty of his existence. Jesse Owens, Michael Jordan, Muhammad Ali, Bo Jackson, Deion Sanders, Jim Brown, Pele, Usain Bolt, Serena Williams, Florence Griffith Joyner, Carmelita Jeter, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, just to name a few, are examples of real black supermen and superwomen who have performed superhuman feats before our very eyes.